Um, I, following on from that topic, um, the pandemic has taken a huge toll on the travel and tourism industry, much more so than any other industry. Uh, about 65% of jobs uh, lost due to the pandemic have been in the travel, hospitality and tourism sector. So what are your suggestions on how to balance public health, safety and economic survival? Well, first of all, I think the good news is things I think you're going to see as more and more people get vaccinated and CDC gives the green light to travel, my guess is this is going to really explode and take off again. I mean, I don't invest in stocks other than my my um, Fidelity 401k plan, so which I don't really look at. But if I were investing in stocks, you'd have to consider the travel industry because it's it's going to. I think it's going to boom uh, as at least domestically in the U.S. as we head towards the fall. People are so weary of being cooped up and. I can assure you just about everybody that's been uh, sheltering at home most of the last 14 months has been thinking where they're going to go. I mean, Mm -hmm. I mean, if you talk with friends and colleagues, every, that always, that's where's where's the first place you want to go. So I think you are going to see a a pretty big boost uh, uh, in, in the travel industry, particularly if, if they advertise about, that they're sensitive to the concerns and precautions and, and what and what they're mm-hmm. going to do. So I think uh, things will take off. I think the big problem is going to be international travel because mm-hmm. you know you're going to have places like the U.S., U.K., and Israel, but the rest of the world is still going to lag at least for the rest of this year and well into 2022. So uh, I think as we head into uh, towards the end of the year. Canada will will pick up in terms of its vaccinations. I think Western Europe will pick up in terms of its vaccinations, but that that may be about it. Uh, unfortunately, um, it's still going to be really problematic um, for uh, Africa, particularly Sub-Saharan Africa, and most of Latin America is still sort of floundering in terms of uh, vaccinations, and and that's a reality as well.